Good morning, good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to another episode of The Addicted Life. I know it's been a while since we've been on here. We've been filming for our other channel, link in below, shelfless, or selfless plug, sorry, I can't, uh, can't help it. For our other channel, Eastside Grind down below, we take a little break from it today to hop on with our buddy Matt, who's gonna take us bow What's fishing. Up, Pretty so, I don't think we've done this on this channel at all. Actually, you know, I know we haven't done we this on this channel. See that? Got that one. Got it. Double? Double. Double. <laughs> Get in there. there Woo! Duck him. That's a big one. <laughs> Monster. Oh. Monster. Holy shit. What's going on everybody? We have Matt here, a buddy of mine who's a uh, bow fishing legend. He's gonna kind of walk through his sled here and uh, tell us a little bit about the bow fishing setup because I don't know about you, but I am very clueless to uh, what goes on with this whole thing. So, Matt. So this is my bow fishing bow. It is a Oneida Black Eagle. It is a little bit older style, but um, pretty cool nonetheless. So here's your typical spinner setup so they have multiple different setups but this is the one that i shoot um, you have your reel seat which hooks to your bow and then we call this a shoot through rod it's like a little fishing pole like on your reel seat this is a spinner reel so this is like a zebco reel so all day you'll be seeing us pushing this button and that allows us to free spool so when you shoot that has to free spool or also pull your arrow off and then you reel it in just like a fishing pole. And that's what it looks like when I'm ready to rock. So you're telling me that you fill up these two things full of fish? Yes, yeah, so these are uh, 55 gallon drums and on a good day you will fill both these and have fish on the floor. Unreal. So my buddy yesterday shot 181. I don't think we're gonna shoot that many today, but <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, it should be a pretty good day. Insane. What's the game plan? So today we're out here in Burbank, Washington. Um, we're gonna shoot some fish today. Probably, hopefully, right in the face. I don't believe your electric doesn't get weeded up. So out of curiosity, I'm pretty sure they're curious too. What's your furthest shot that you hit? So it all depends on like the depth of the fish. So if the fish is like 20 yards out, but it's on top of the, the water, I can hit that fish. But if it's 20 yards out and five feet down, I can't hit it because of the angle of that it's at. So you'll see today, I'll take some pretty long shots if they're I on top. Could you hit that one? I can hit this one right here. Oh, I didn't see that. That easy, huh? That easy. That's all you gotta do. Right. A little to the left. You're pretty good, like up and down, though. That's the problem, is carp like weeds. So, you gotta go where the carp are. Like half this battle's me learning how to freaking figure out this arrow situation. <laughs> Aim lower. Ooh, closer. Too low? Maybe it's maybe a touch too low. <laughs> I, I told you about this before we started. No, it's cool. <laughs> get them off once you get them on so ideally you want it, your tip to just barely go in like and not come out the other side and then once you get it in you just push your tip through and then this spins off and then you just it comes right off say so the hardest part is like figuring out like depths and where your arrow is gonna go 
because it's kind of like golf in the sense that every shot is a little different. It's like golf, but you get to kill stuff. I think an armor go. Oh, dude. I told you, you're going to be tired by the end of the day. I'm already tired. <laughs> this is wild. Get him. Oh, just over it. Horse! <laughs> you're close. You're close. So when that when that arrow enters the water, it actually comes up. And those fish actually look like they're higher than they are. Ooh. Um, see, that's why you have to aim underneath them. Because if you, if you shoot right at them, you'll miss every time. How many carp are in here? Millions. I mean, I always knew there was a lot of them, but you're saying this isn't even like the best part of the day, and it's already seen. 15, oh yeah, this. 15, 20. Yeah, we're not even close to. Uh, yep, there you go. Angle lower. Oh, just over it. It's horse. I didn't play <laughs> <one>. <laughs> Got him. Oh, it pulled oh, out. It came out. Story of my life. <laughs> I didn't even see that. It's unbelievable. <laughs> so because that one was up high, I was able to, to shoot at it. Oh, yeah. So you see, see way over there? Yeah. See that little like brown spot sticking out? And then we're right here too? Uh -huh. That's them sunning. So they'll come up and actually put their backs out of the water. Huh. And then you shoot them in the back. Have you seen many other things besides carp? So at night we see all kinds of stuff. You see bass. In these weeds? Yeah, see bass, walleye. Um, some of my buddies have seen sturgeon. Um, obviously in Washington you can only shoot common carp. That's the only thing you are. You can hit that thing? Oh, where'd it go? Hey, it gone? took off, yeah. Common carp is the only um, legal fish you can harvest in the state of Washington. You don't have to have a license for this, correct? Correct, no license. All right, over there. Oh, so close. Uh, it went like right over its back, so just a touch high. Watch this like opening right here. I didn't even see anything. What? <laughs> okay, so the easiest way to take these off, obviously pull all your weeds off. And then I like to, I like to hit them first. So that way they stop flopping around. Because you're a humanitarian. Yes. And then you can see my arrows all the way through already. So you just pull you the rest of your weeds off. Take this tip off. Slides out. You're ready to go again. Ready to go shoot another one. You want to kind of talk about like what you're looking for like when you're hunting these? Well, first off, is it fishing or is it hunting? So it's technically bow fishing but you're shooting fish with an arrow. I'm about to throw this bow in the water. <laughs> so it's bow fishing. Bow fishing. Oh. See this one I got here in front of us, kind of to the left? Oh. Shot over it. This one's probably gonna pull out. That pulled out. Are you ready? Got that one. That's a good one too. Wonderful. Thank <laughs> you. 
that big one? <laughs> oh yeah it is. On the way I got into it. No, that's good on that. That's the biggest one I did. Holy crap! <laughs> state record? No, not a state record, but that was a good one. Whatever, state record. <laughs> Sounds good enough to me. Half his stinking body ripped off. Think you can pull through this one? No. You got the freaking skin so tough. Yeah. So, people back home are probably like, what in the world am I watching? You were watching bow fishing. I mean, like, what's the what's the point of killing all these things? So, carp have no predators, so they just multiply like crazy, like rabbits. Um, and what they do is they eat root balls of um, like vegetation, seaweed, and stuff. So it takes away habitat for other fish. And since they have no predators, it just spreads like everywhere. So we're actually taking fish out of the ecosystem to allow other fish to flourish, like bass, um, walleye, stuff like that. So, and you were saying Washington State doesn't regulate them at all. No license, you can snag them, shoot them, yep, no license. dynamite. Um, you can shoot them as many as you want. Um, a lot, one of the questions I get a lot is, what do you do with them after you're done? So today we'll take them out, and we've actually worked with the Department of Fish and Wildlife. We'll take them out into deep water, and we'll cut them from head to tail, and we'll sink them. And then uh, sturgeon will eat on them and stuff like that. So it's going going back into the ecosystem. So that way we're not leaving them at boat launches and they get stinky and people people don't like that. So. So you're saying we can't leave them on Tyler's doorstep? Uh, maybe a couple for him, but. Let's do it. <laughs> or maybe Marlon for not showing up today. Yeah, you're missing out. Hey, send Marlon a little invite here. Hey man, you got a couple car trips here coming up and Cameron too. Come over and shoot him. Nope. 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 He wants to have a day job. Wants to have benefits. Retirement. Stupid. Yeah. Priorities, man. Lame. Priorities. Got, that Got him. That one didn't even like fight our little. Where the hell was friends at? Yeah. Oh, came off. Perfect. <laughs> How much are the bows? So, since these ones are a little older, they're not as expensive, but still like, I think I bought mine for 500. <laughs> <I'm happy. laughs> Couple hour update. I cannot even describe how frustrating this is. Like it's wild seeing all these fish getting shots at them. There's, there's a trick to it. I, I came in this a little cocky thinking, I'll figure it out pretty fast. It's just shooting. It's not. There's a lot to this. He's really good. It's super dumb. And uh, Taylor, if you're watching this, I'm really sorry, but I'm probably going to go home. I think I'm going to go buy a boat tonight. Unfortunately. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, my gosh. Duck him. That's a big one. <laughs> Monster! Oh, monster! How big is that? Uh, that one's probably 25. Holy crap. I'm whooped. How do you guys do this for eight hours? Dude, so it's it's a workout for sure. How do you think you're in here? Uh, I'm probably about 15. If you guys are curious what the score is, I got two of those. <laughs> They're two nice ones. At least a five pounder. Maybe three. Twenty-six. Holy crap. There you go. It's big fish of the day. He's massive. <laughs> Just my luck. See that's one? See it underneath that weed patch? Yep. Yeah. On fire! <laughs> cannot, oh, hold out. Nope, it's still there. Is he? Yep. You cannot miss. <laughs> the giant goldfish. Giant goldfish. Got him. Get him! 
get in there. there Woo! Ooh, got that one. Oh my gosh, there's so many weeds on this one. It's a whole bonanza of carp. What do you call it? A pod? A school? Bonanza? A plethora of carp underneath us. I'm out of breath. There you go, the gym. No, I don't. Got him. Did it really? Oh, hey, I did. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Double? Double! Double! <laughs> hey, mine's actually fighting, though. <laughs> ah, I'm wrapped around. I'll let you go. He's kicking my butt. Hey. Holy crap. Whew. Stabbed him. If you guys want to see more carp videos, you know, comment down below, subscribe, share this video, you know the whole deal. But we need to get some feedback from you guys. If you guys want to do some more different stuff like this, you know, again, we're, this was to be an east side video, but, uh, you know, Marlon kind of talked us into doing something different. So if you guys want to see this more often, you know, some different stuff, comment down below, let us know what you think. We'd love to have Matt on here more. Do you know how many cool shots we've missed today because our cameras weren't on? <laughs> I feel like when we're going back through this footage, Sean's going to be, you guys don't know Sean, by the way, he's a rock star, he's our editing guy. He's going to be like, okay, so how'd you guys end up with that many fish? And I have four on film. Sorry, Sean. Now we're going to sink all of these fish that TJ shot today. So what's the program? So the program is you drive out to, I mean, we're, so we're in like 30 feet of water right now. Um, nobody's going to see them. Fish, other fish are going to eat on them. Um, so you take what I do, and you grab them by the eyes, and you're going to cut them from here. You're gonna cut their air sacs all the way down and then they're gonna sink. She gone. She gone. And you're gonna do that over and over again. So how did you expect? I mean, what was your expectation going into today and how did it end up? So, I knew it was gonna be pretty pretty good fish-wise. It was a little slower than I thought we were gonna do. Um, That's slow, <laughs> come on. I think we ended up shooting 30, 35, something like that. Um, with the weather today, I thought it was gonna be a little better, but um, it was fun, for sure. I'm Insane. We gotta get this guy out and get his first fish. and uh, Hopefully he's hopefully he's addicted now. Oh! oh! Hope you guys liked that video. Again, a little something different. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like more of these East Side videos, comment down below. We love to see the support and everything you guys do for us. Remember, the other channel is East Side Grind. The link's gonna be down below for kind of the daily vlog style content. And uh, remember to like, share this video out, subscribe down to Addicted Fishing. See you guys next time.